my man. How you been? I've been great, man. Just uh, maintaining, man. Working on whatever. Just getting on the road more, more tour, more bookings. Uh, it's more features. It's more everything, man. Just trying to get my shit out there, you know. Before we get into the detail, I hope you don't mind. We got the CHUO volunteers. They're filming right now. We got yeah. the video. Did you sign the consent papers, or shit? Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I, I, some didn't, I didn't. I didn't know that, that you better sign. I, I didn't know that was necessary, but. Well, yeah, you, you just dropped a new EP. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it, man. Filthy. What does what, what that stand for? Why Filthy? Uh, I was actually, um, it was a tribute to my homie that passed away. Um, if y'all don't know, my homie Johnny Bravo he was a part of Left Lane Music when I started it. And uh, he passed away a year ago in his sleep. Uh, R.P. Johnny Bravo. Rest in peace. And um, yeah, just uh, we used to call him Filthy. You know, when he was coming up, that was his nickname before uh, the Johnny Bravo thing came along. You know what I mean? So, uh, when I went to go put out the tape, I was just like trying to think of a name, and that just really inspired me. You know, because filthy can be a lot, mean a lot of things. It can mean dirty, it can mean nasty. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I feel different it. metaphors for it, right? So. And I, and I gotta say, you're sitting in front of me right now with no tattoos, and the cover <laughs> resembles. It's supposed to resemble Johnny, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What I did there is I took his face tattoos and I, I put them on my own face for the. Yeah, it's a dope. Card. That's dope. Nice, yeah, nice. I was wondering. What shout out whoever did the artwork on that. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Justin Maine. Yo, he's dope. Uh, he's based out of Toronto, man. If y'all need anything done, you can hit him up on Facebook at Justin Maine or on Twitter at Justin Maine. So that track we played recently before uh, we got you on was medication. That's off the EP. Tell us about that track. That's correct. Um, uh, medication. Well, uh, I found the beat just online, just skimming through beats on SoundCloud. That's the funny thing. So, you know, I got that for what like a lot of artists would call a steal. Yeah, I, mean, I got it for the beat. Yeah, you know, so yeah, I got it for like you know, that's a that's a beat. Some people would pay anywhere from like a, a rack to five grand. You know, so. And for, for for all of my listeners that do not know, which a lot are tuned in right now, that do know that Swisher T is the dab man. Ah uh, yes, and I know. Yo, I, I wasn't. Know, and I, I, I know I had. I wasn't gonna go there. I, I had to. Gonna I go had there. to. I had to. I, I'm gonna leave the I'm question for DJ Live because I know he's I a listen. dab master himself. Hey, look, it's 420. We got we got a lot of things yeah, to talk about. We got a lot of things to talk about before Where's we get into. Where's the lad at? Where's the lad at? Before we get I'm into joking, the dab joking, life, I'm before joking. we get into the dab life, I yeah. do wanna uh, let our listeners know, you know, uh, where you come from, Swisher. You know what I'm saying? Because I gotta admit, when I first heard your buzz mm -hmm. and I listened to your music I was like oh, damn this guy's good but no clean edits right what do you mean by that um where am I from like a uh, background or like or like origin or like where I used to live or what do you mean by that um, I mean your inspiration of when you started rapping I mean what really kind of made you spark into uh the current all uh, the west coast yeah I came up on west coast hip hop you know, with Ice Cube, Dre, and Easy, yeah. Tupac all the great Snoop, uh, and all the greats. That was just my shit growing up. And honestly, like I, I wouldn't say that was all I listened to. Like I, I'm open to everything. Like I like a variation of music, but not necessarily just hip hop. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Like, I, but if I, if you had to, it had to be something that really, really, really inspired me was the West Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, you need yeah, so you have a bunch of shows coming up. Uh -huh. A bunch of shows actually. Tell us about them. Okay, well, uh. The first one I'm doing, the most recent one that's coming out. Oh, uh, you, you got a booking agent, right? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my, my agent, Brandon Berg, okay, okay, uh, the okay. Diamond Mine Agency. You, uh, they, because you, you have been, mm -hmm. you have switched a couple different managers, right? Am I mistaken? Uh, <laughs> I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call my other managers really official before. Which okay. Is like, uh, <laughs> like friendships. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like They want that title. Well, now, now it's official. Manager, but now it's official. Okay. And then the man's actually putting in the work for me. Yeah, I see shout out Diamond Mind Agency, they're doing the thing. Yeah, shout out Diamond Mind Agency, agency like I was saying. But yeah, speaking of shows coming up, I'm do, we're doing a fundraiser at the Cabin Room. It's uh, Hip Hop for the Fun. Uh, Hip Hop for Hunger, second annual event. Damn, um, <laughs> uh, That's going to be December 5th at the Cabin Room. Um, tickets are 15. Uh, yeah, it's a big fundraiser. I was there last year. Uh, there's going to be lots of performers there. I'll be headlining. Um, we're going to have aspects there. We're going to have... Uh, one Hood's hosting it. One Hood's hosting it. It's going to be a crazy Diamond, event. So I suggest Envy. Diamond Envy. I, I suggest y'all get out there, man. It's going to be crazy. Also, on December 18th, I'm doing a show in Ottawa for Snack the Ripper at Bourbon Room. And then yeah, December 20th, I am doing another show at Snack the Ripper in Kingston. I got to pause you right there. I got to pause you right there. Mm. 
because I know I see Mr. Madchild on an EP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Snack the Ripper and him have had to get into a little online war the last couple of weeks online. What do you feel about that little online back back and forth uh, diss tracks? Mad Child and Snack the Ripper doing again. Switch it, switch it. I'm in the middle of that. I see, I see his comments online. He can, he can give a little comment. Uh, that's that's for, that's for the love of hip hop, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, the issues between them, like a lot just said, and it has nothing to do with me. And I respect both MCs, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, like how much uh, attention I've driven from that, you know, what's been going on in the Canadian hip hop scene. So uh, yeah, like personally, I'm just I'm mutual respect for both dudes, you know. What I mean? I'm, staying, I'm staying mutual with that. And you got a few tracks out with uh, Mad Shot, right? I actually got three records, right? On a few, a one or two on the EP and a few off the EP, right? Am I mistaken? Uh, there's one on the EP. Yeah, okay. And then there's the original one I did with him, Ballistic. Um, that was on the Left Lane album. And then I had one, uh, Enjoy the Show, featuring Corey Sherrill. That's on Sherrill's album. How did you uh, connect with my child? Honestly, man, he just came down to Ottawa. And I ran into him at a show. And um, we just started talking. And uh, he had heard of me before. So we connected, uh, set up a studio time, got in the booth, started working, you know? Cool. Yeah, we just dig each other's vibe and just ran from there, you know. You prefer rapping with uh, other other artists or do you prefer doing solo stuff? I personally man, I like I like doing my own thing. Yeah. I also uh, like I can, you know, really focus on a concept and like uh really go in on shit. You know, when you when you're collaborating really like a lot of time you're not maybe on you're not on the same page as the other artists on the song and, Y'all end up rapping about different things, you know. So if you're gonna collaborate, it's really important that y'all on the same page. You know? mm -hmm. So tell us about Left Lane Music, the record label, and all that art. Any, any new artists under the belt or what? We're actually uh, looking at an artist out east right now. His name's Cavi. Um, I, I seen him down there when we were doing a show. Uh, he opened up for me. And the kid has mad talent. He's only 18, and um, I'd say yeah, he's the next prospect for Left Lane right now. Where, where's he from, sorry? Uh, he's from East Coast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And tell us uh, how you and Sharon been kicking it, cause y'all y'all have a lot of tracks and a lot of fire out there. Uh, Sharon's the homie, man. He always will be. But um, uh, right now um, he's focusing more on his battle rap career, and I'm focusing more on my uh, recording career. You know, so we're kind of just went our separate ways and just focused on our own things. You know. I feel, I feel. So the filthy EP is out now. Shout out to Sharon, though. Yeah, big shout out to Sharon. Yeah, it's the homie. King of the Dot, the whole crew. The EP is out now, the Filthy EP. Yeah, yeah. Tell everybody right. where they can go get it. Uh, you can get that on iTunes. Uh, it's on Apple Music. Uh, Yikes. <laughs> you can get it on CD, baby. Um, nice. A little bit of distortion right now. <laughs> um, is it available for, for streaming anywhere? Yeah, you can stream it on, like, I think it's Tidal, Spotify. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's everywhere, man. Like, just go on Google, type in Switch Team Filthy, and you'll find it. So let me ask you a, a final question, Mr. Switch. You know, you've been you've been rapping for a minute now, and you, it seems like you got a lot of uh, steam, and you seems like you still got lots of work that you want to put in. Mm -hmm. Where where do you see yourself in the next several years? Where do you want uh, people to to I, be when they react to your music? Because there's no denying what you do uh, is what you do, and you know that peeps feel that and they're like they're gonna feel a certain type of way regardless right yeah, so yeah. in a few yeah, years yeah. where where you want to feel that where you want to be at man i just i'm just always trying to progress man like it's in, like the thing about successful people is like it's never enough for us right no matter how much success we, we can get it just gotta keep going at it you know what i mean when i'm not moving when i'm not doing stuff i feel like i feel stuck i feel like you know my life's at a halt mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i gotta just keep shit moving in a forward motion if i'm not doing that then i'm not doing anything I don't want to die or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <And escalate. laughs> let's get on the left leg. No, let's do this. Uh, let's keep it. Let's keep it moving. We're gonna get into uh, another joint. And this is great, man. I'm glad that you came by. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, thanks for having me, man. Thanks for coming through. Before we go, other than the EP and the shows coming up, what what else is Switch T been under his belt for the new year? Uh, for the new year, man. Just, um, just expect a lot of new music, man. A lot of music videos too. Uh, I took a break on that for the past like eight months. I started just focusing more on like the music and the whole production aspect. You know what I mean? But just uh, in the new year, expect a lot of videos, a lot of shows, a lot of features, and just everything. But so tell the fans and all of our listeners right now where they can get your EP. Again, you can get my EP on iTunes, uh, CD Baby, 
on Apple Music, you can stream it on Spotify, Tidal, just everywhere, you know. I want to give them, uh, you brought a new track off the EP, you want to give them a little sneak peek. Yeah, yeah. Right now we're going to spend uh, All I Got, it's uh, track number one off my EP. We got to switch the team in the building, y'all. Let's get into his new single, it's called All I Got. Make sure you go get the Filthy EP out now on iTunes, support local Canadian hip-hop. Here we go. 